Let's continue with the present tense conjugation, the third type of verbs. Tip number three. Those are verbs ending in nut, nut, yet, yet. This is yem, and ayet, ayet. So. This, this, the third type will be, will, will be based on, uh, on these endings. However, there are some verbs, a uh, few words, which, um, which are belong to the first two categories, namely some, some words, some verbs, which end in at, and um, some verbs which end in it. So, the second type. First type and the second type. Um, well, now again, I can only tell there are so many exceptions and so many rules. Uh, just try to create this um, statistic in your head and just uh, get get your um, yes ling linguistic background. Just uh, go ahead and study Russian, and at what at some point you will naturally and intuitively decide where to choose what, and mostly Russians will understand you. Now I choose for you several examples. The first word would be tanut. To nut is to go down, to sink. Then ждать. Ждать. To wait, to expect. Tanut. Nut is to pull or to extend and rvat. Rvat. Rvat is to tear, to tear apart. So we don't have. Um, I, I decided not to take any uh, any verbs with ending it and it, namely because. Um, those verbs will be reflexive. I, I uh, from from the examples I got, those were reflexive verbs, and um, it's a different rule and um, different endings, and we will learn them a little bit later. However, don't worry; it's not uh, like you you will miss something. Uh, namely, it will be just a small ending on top of uh, all other endings. Uh, but now let's let's study the third type of verbs and the structure again. Uh, let's let's write our personal pronouns. Those are ya, ты, он, она, мы, вы, они. Can you hear? I'm pronouncing они, она with I in the beginning, not with on. So. Um, well, as in the first two cases, we uh, removed the last three letters and we got from tanut, from going down, from sinking, ton. Ton. And the ending would be ya tonu. I'm sinking, I'm going down. Ты тонешь. Yes, ты тонешь. You are sinking. Он, она тонет. Мы тонем, вы тонете, and они тонут. So, I'm thinking, я тону. You are thinking, ты тонешь. Она тонет, she is thinking. Мы тонем, we are going down, мы тонем. Вы тонете, you in plural or in polite, вы тонете. And они тонут. How would you say we are sinking? Мы тонем. And you in singular, you are sinking. Ты тонешь. Now let's take ждать. Again, we removing the last three letters. We got left. Ж, Д. So, я жду. Ты ждешь. 
So, I'm waiting, я жду, ты ждешь, you, in singular is waiting, он, она ждет. Мы ждем. Вы ждете. And они ждут. Тянуть. We are moving out and we got ten left. Я тяну. I am pulling. Ты тянешь. Ешь. Ты тянешь. Он, она тянет. She or he is pulling. You in singular is pulling. Мы тянем. We, we are pulling. Вы тянете. You are pulling. And они тянут. Рвать. We removing the last three letters and we got rv left. Я рву. Ты рвешь. Ты рвешь. Он, она рвет. Мы рвем. Вы рвете. And они рвут. How comes that some endings are having yo and some endings having ye? Have you noticed this funny smiley yo and the standard ye? Ye, yo, yo, yo. Well, um, for you to know, Russian, as I mentioned so many times, Russian got so many rules. And um, there are quite few rules about stressing, the stress in, inside the word. Uh, for you to know, To, um, to learn Russian words, you, you need to learn several things. For nomen, you need to learn the gender of the word. So every word, even, even um, things have got a gender. And the things do not, do not necessarily have a neutral gender. So, for example, a table stall, we learned it, got a male gender. And uh, daska, the board, you remember in the classroom there was a board? got a female gender. So things got different genders. For people and for animals it's more or less easier sometimes. <laughs> well, so and for all of the words you need to know also the stress. So different words have got different stresses. And um, yo is namely it's yo when it's stressed and it's ye when it's not stressed. So th this would be the rule. I don't want to overstress you <laughs> with stresses. So I want to keep you, um, yeah, yes, to keep the lessons as easy as possible, especially because we are also in a beginner level. Uh, some teachers present all of the words and everything with stresses and with the gender. I decided not to do it. Basically because you will be understood. You will be understood if you put put yo instead of ye or ye instead of yo. And if you would use one gender instead of another gender. However, if, if I would let you study genders and stresses, you would probably learn one third of, uh, of the amount I, I, I want to present to you in the first lessons, in the first uh, A1 sessions of Russian language. So, uh, th this is the explanation for you. Even though you cannot uh, really do much with this, however, take it as it is and later on in the uh, later sessions, especially when we will also go through reflexive um, forms of verbs, uh, you, you will understand more and you will, uh, you will know where to put you and where to put ye. I will describe you and I will explain you how to do this. 
For now, let's uh, exercise the third, uh, the third type, the T type of verbs for conjugation in the present tense. Uh, again, tanut is to sink, to go down, ждat is to wait, tanut, tanut is to extend or to pull, and rvat is to tear, to tear apart. I'm, I'm going down, I'm sinking, ja tanu. And uh, you are waiting in the singular, ja, ty ждёшь, ty ждёшь. He or she is waiting, on она ждёт. If you would, for example, you wouldn't know if you, if you should put yot, you would put ждет. Она ждет. Sounds weird to Russians, but um, more likely they will understand you. So, however, now we know the right thing, and uh, you should remember it as the right thing. Он, она ждет. Мы ждем. Now, we are pulling. Мы тянем. We are pulling, мы тянем. You, in plural, are pulling, вы тянете. And they are pulling, они тянут. Uh, they are waiting, они ждут. They are going down, they are sinking, они тонут. I am tearing apart, I am tearing, я рву. You are tearing. You are tearing apart something. Ты рвёшь. Он, она, he, she is tearing. Она рвёт. Он рвёт. We are tearing apart. Мы рвём. You, in plural or in a polite form, we are tearing apart. Вы рвёте. And they are tearing apart. Они рвут. And just because we got this chance, let's uh, exercise uh, one word out of each, uh, each example. Um, try to say, you are sinking. Ты тонешь. We are waiting. Мы ждем. He or she pulling. Он, она тянет. And you, in polite or plural, tearing apart, вы рвете.